Singing a song by the light of the bay. 
Actually, nobody knows this anymore, but apparently you all knew, so that's a nice thing to know. In 2017, I had the, the pleasure of going to Memphis, and I was really I'm excited to meet Paul in 2017 when he lived in Memphis and we were like passing ships like that. So we had to come and, and meet each other here. And I went to represent the state of Wisconsin as a soloist uh, for the International Blues Challenge. I think it was so amazing about 2017, it was 100 years of Paramount Records and I didn't know much about Wisconsin before I moved here, but that's one thing I did know about Paramount Records and the history of the blues in this state is bar none the most important thing because back in the early um, 20th century, you had a furniture factory called Paramount Furniture Factory and good old American ingenuity and capitalism in order to sell their Victrolas, they put acetate records on them and gave those for free. And that's how we got so many of these amazing artists that we know of today. Sadly, those records are, a lot of them are lost. And um, I want to do one of the songs by Kishi Wiley. And this is, uh, and I just I just love that the fact that there's this legacy of women blues artists that many of we don't even, we don't even know about.
I've recently been enjoying getting back to the solo performances. That guitar I performed for over 15 years in the subways of New York City, and I tell you, <laughs> it's still hanging in there. <laughs> yeah, the, that's a whole other thing playing playing in uh, in a subway. Um, I never played. And in a subway car, but on the platforms and the stations, and people always say things like, you know, how can you handle that with everyone going by? It's like the best audience in the world, you know? Because a New Yorker, you know, everyone's getting to where they have to go, so one of the best compliments could be, you know, taking the earbud out just long enough to go, and then, you know. <laughs> true, very true. But I've always been a social activist to my songwriting and, and for me as an ex-teenager I wrote a lot of songs about what was going on in my life and all of them, all that crazy stuff like what fools do. But this one really hits home and I think you'll get the message. And uh, I know that a song can't change the world but it sure makes me feel better that I can at least sing a song and try to get people to look like what? Oh, 
amazing. The other day I was talking to her about fire and ice, and she started quoting a Robert Frost poem on fire and ice. <laughs> <laughs> So she reminded me of the time when I was a little girl and uh, took my tricycle and rode it into town. Yeah. Now you know why I named the band The Troublemakers. <laughs> my mother told me, go find a brother. Thank <laughs> you. 
hear my voice. <laughs> but I did learn that when you're playing it with <coughs> stage lights so bright I can't see you and then I went out into the crowd I was completely blind and didn't see anything anyway so <laughs> that's why I just kind of you know strung along but thank you for the, the clapping and all that um, that's a classic what they call hoogie boogie um, Jolly Hooker was notorious for that was his, his thing a lot of people said oh isn't that ZZ Top well you know where did they get it from ha, 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 ha. I know you wanted to do it <laughs> Getting back to uh, another Gishi Wiley, L.B. Thomas song. There's a great uh, uh, New York Times piece that I dug up. Somebody found that one record of this. I think they are saying that it's like maybe the only one available. Motherless Child Blues.
Fishy Wiley. So I'm going to put this one down and I'm going to pick up another one. I love this coffee house series. I love uh, DCA. Dark Community Auditorium is amazing. We are so very, 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 very lucky to have it. Lucky us, because of the size of the auditorium, they can bring in these amazing international and national acts. And uh, if you haven't seen the program for this season, you really should. And, and as you know, with, with things, you really want to buy your tickets <laughs> ahead of time. Because a lot of those, the great shows of the artists that you love, they get sold out. And I was very happy that this wonderful show was sold out, too. So thank you for being here. tuning things happening. I've got a, a wonderful uh, moment soon that Paula's going to come up and join me. i got to do a couple first. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
to reach in for the happiness. Yes, I do, and you do too. In the happiness that I'm feeling. Part 
the heart and soul of the Steelbridge family.
we were talking about what we can do, and Paul um, oh, was so wonderful to just oblige me. <laughs>
Yes. 
go out there and let the hands fall where they may. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I only had that brain and those hands as well. <laughs> and you could quote me on that. Um, we're going to do one more song. Thank you all so very, very much. And then it, the storm decided to be very kind to us. Yeah. Did you have to shovel a lot? Oh God, I'm, I'm, I'm so out of shape. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I do. That was my thing. Yeah. I feel like I went to the gym like a lot. Like, <laughs> I really just shoveled like nine feet of snow. Oh, um, well, Memphis, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I'd rather be here shoveling snow. It's like 80 degrees in Memphis. Oh. We don't, get, we don't get seasons down in the Southland. Wow. Hey, can I give a little plug? Is it permissible? Plug, well, please do. I forgot to say a few things. First of all, uh, I proposed to my wife 10 years ago on this day, so happy proposing. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Kathy, for like my Thank you. Put it up. Give it up. Yeah. 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 I want to do a plug for him. He's got this amazing recording that's just out. His his group, Men Mom. I just listened to the tracks today. Just blew my mind. Thank you. Yes, just fantastic. <laughs> Maybe you know this one. This one's for my Aunt Mary. I couldn't be there today to say goodbye to her. And uh, I sang it very slowly and very funeral-esque for her and the family. But this is different. This is like, you know, going to church gospel time. <laughs>